Hey everyone, this is Certified High Performance Coach Michelle Weimer here with you today. And for our first uh, video of the new year, I want to talk about how you can prepare yourself to have a great year this year. So I'm going to be sharing with you three different questions you can ask yourself and a little process that I always like to do every year to get myself ready to have a really, really great year. So um, one of the things that tends to happen is we get so busy throughout the year trying to make things happen, get things done, that we don't always acknowledge our success or where we are as we prepare for the coming year. So I really believe it's important that in order for us to make a good plan and have clear goals, we've got to know where we are. So in order to uh, successfully accomplish our goals, let's go there first. The first thing you want to do is check in and ask yourself, what were my successes in the previous year? So what were your successes in 2020? What did you get accomplished? Where did you end up at the end of the year? And the reason why this is important, if you think of it in terms of uh, um, like the GPS on your phone, if your location is turned off, then the system can't tell you or, or can't tell where you are and therefore can't give you good directions as to where you need to go. So in order for you to set goals in a manner that makes sense, you have to figure out where you are. So if you are in business, check your numbers. You probably did that anyway, but go through them again. Sit down and think about what did you accomplish this past year and where do you want to go in the coming year? If you are, um, you know, if you're thinking about your personal life um, or your health, gosh, health is always a, a big New Year's resolution that people have. Get on the scale. Measure yourself. Check your schedule and find out what was I doing before that was working. And what was I doing before that wasn't working? If you ate a lot of sugar and had a lot of, you know, alcohol or carbs during the holidays and you're like, wow, you know, it's time for me to fix that. Knowing where you are and what you've been doing is a great way to give you that baseline. Again, like your GPS, it knows your current location so that then you can set goals and create a plan that will help you move forward in a very specific strategic manner. So that is the first question that you want to ask yourself. What were my successes last year? And by the way, the reason I like to think about the successes versus just it from a standpoint of failures, I mean, yes, you're checking to see where you were, but I like to frame it in the standpoint of success because the truth of the matter is we're so hard on ourselves sometimes. Uh, it can become a real downer if you're focused on what wasn't working and um, not, not to say that's not a good measure but but if you have a tendency as most people do to always focus on the failures and what doesn't work if you frame it in a standpoint um, for yourself of what were my successes it helps you um, put yourself into a frame a, a mindset of motivation and excitement versus disappointment and you know failure and fear and desperation so Go from a standpoint of what were my successes to give yourself that baseline of where you were. And then, then you can say, okay, and what was I doing that either got me to this point or didn't get me where I want to go? And then you can reevaluate. Then you can set goals to make those shifts and changes. But start with success. All right, next question that you want to ask yourself is, what would you like to change or accomplish in the new year? So this just takes it to that next level, right? From where am I? Uh, what did I accomplish last year and what do I want to accomplish or change in the new year? So these two I've been talking about this this part as well all along But it, again, it's that question of what would I like to change or accomplish in the new year? And this is where you can really dig in and create that plan So, you know, for example, if you have um, and, and I say this from a health standpoint for myself um, I had a lot of sugar. I mean from the time I turned 50 in November through Thanksgiving through Christmas Christmas, um, I consumed more sugar probably in those couple of months than I did for six months prior to that. 
So for me, one of the things I want to change or get back to, it's a matter of getting back on track, which is another great thing, you know, that, that may be just the goal that you need, getting back on track with monitoring and not over consuming too much sugar in my life. So what do you want to accomplish? And what would you like to change? Are there new things you want to incorporate into your life? Creating something new and making changes can be very exciting. It's a new year. So do something new. Make some changes. What do you want to accomplish? And a great way that you can do that when you want to sit down and get really clear on your goals for the new year, grab the Achieve Success System. I'll put the link to that um, in with this video. But Use the Achieve Success System to help you set your goals and create a plan for achieving them. This system, what it does is it walks you through not only how to clearly line out your plan for success, but it also helps you identify some of the roadblocks um, that are going to come up and that you need to be on the lookout for so that you can, you know, kind of overcome them and keep reaching for your goals. So. I'll put that link in here again, grab it. I think it's uh, just michellewimer.com forward slash achieve, but I'll make sure that's in here for you. And then the last thing that I want you to do, the, the last question I have for you is, what will your theme be for 2021? What will your theme be for the new year? Or what what's your guiding light? And so what I mean by this is uh, when you pick, you know, some people pick a word, they pick a word for the year. I've seen that all over uh, social media lately. Pick a word for the year. Um, some people pick a theme for the year. Your theme might be my year of yes, or um, your word might be kindness, or maybe your word is courage this year. Maybe you have a whole set of words. Maybe it's um, you know consistency and determination. Um, maybe your words are. Uh, being present and being positive. You know, whatever your theme is for the year, and this theme or this mantra, this guiding light, whatever you want to call it, the reason that this is so helpful is because what you can do when you start to get off course is use your light to guide you back on track to your desired des destination. It's kind of like it helps you hit that reset button every day. Right, so you know everybody wants to hit the reset button on the first day of the new year, but this guide or this theme or this mantra again, whatever you want to call it for yourself, your word, uh, even it helps you stay on track. And just to give you an example of how that works, if you um, if if you check yourself each morning or you check your actions, and let's say that your word is um, confidence and bold action. Maybe those are your words, confidence and bold actions. You can go ask yourself, okay, what will I do today to show confidence in my life and what bold actions will I take? When you do that every single day, it starts to become a pattern and that, that really does become a theme for your life. And then what you notice is you start being more confident. You start taking more bold actions and you can use it as a check-in as well midday or each week at the end of the day and say how confident was I today what bold actions did I take today or you know again whatever your theme might be even if it's something like my year of yes then check yourself what did I say yes to today what can I say yes to today as you're planning and prepping for your day? And likewise, throughout the week, throughout the month. So it gives you a great guide to keep you on track throughout the year. So here's what I'd love to know from you. What is your theme? Um, you can post in the comments or send me an email. Uh, let me know what your theme is for the year or what your word is for the year. I can tell you what mine mine is. Mine, I have a series of three words this year. Connection, change, and creation. I want to connect on a deeper level. I want to create bigger change both for myself and in my business and my, my family's going through lots of changes this year and for my clients, help them create change and more creation. Um, I'm going to be creating some brand new programs this year. I've got some big things coming I'll be telling you about soon. So make sure you're on my mailing list. Make sure you're connected with me here on social media. And until next week, I want to thank you for joining me. And um, until next time, this is Certified High Performance Coach Michelle Weimer. Bye for now.